Currents News, Michelle Powers is in Texas with the volunteer team from the diocese. Michelle, what's going on behind you? Yeah, Liz, we're at Catholic Charities, and the volunteers behind me are sorting papers. All of these are requests from aid from Catholic Charities. Yesterday we were at the houses, but today we're seeing the back end of the relief effort. When Anna Rocchio signed up to come to Houston, she knew the trip would be emotional, but the tears didn't flow at a destroyed home. They flow here at Catholic Charities filing papers. I got goosebumps looking at all those papers that I actually had to take a picture of it because no one would believe it. Thousands of them. Requests for aid from the smallest grants to the largest loans. Rebuilding a house is just half the battle. Every single one of those papers represent a house, a person's home. More than 70 days after Hurricane Harvey, Catholic Charities pledges to make contact with every individual and family that reached out for their help. Today, our volunteers lend a hand. Hi, my name is Kim. I'm volunteering with Catholic Charities today. Kim Ben takes a horror job, calling up clients to assess their needs. Her home was destroyed in Hurricane Sandy, and she says three months in is when life really gets tough. Everybody comes and wants to help right away and see, you know, like the destruction and all that, but it's when everybody's gone and going back to their regular life, you can't go back to your regular life. What else have we done for them? Catholic Charities has served more than 19,000 people in the week since the hurricane hit, in everything from immediate needs assessment to enacting long-term recovery plans. Most people are so discombobulated at the time of the storm, uh, and even in the months that follow, that they don't know where to go. So we point the way, and we provide the resources and access to multiple uh, uh, other resources uh, for them to get where they need to be. But even in the midst of disaster. This now we're not seeing the actual, uh, you know, a destroyed house or houses, but seeing all these paperwork, it multiplied. Now you're seeing, you know, it's not just one house, it's hundreds, thousands, you know, so it's, it's really, it's mind boggling. We see positivity. See how strong people are and, um, and you know, um, like God did on the cross, you fall, we just got to get back up, you know, and that's, uh, and that's what we're trying to do now, you know, people that are back down, we just got to help them up, you know what I mean? And, you know, hopefully start a new beginning for them. Wherever we are, outside or indoors, we are seeing compassion, we're seeing positivity. Liz, back to you in the studio. Michelle, one quick question for you. What's next on your schedule? Michelle, one quick question for you. What's next on your schedule? Now Liz, they're telling us that we're going to head to a warehouse, it's much like ours in the Diocese of Brooklyn, that's housing a ton of supplies that they're getting ready to give out to the greater Houston area. They want to get rid of it. They want people to have the immediate assistance that they've been waiting for for three months now, Liz. All right, Michelle, thanks for all your hard work. Talk with you soon.